to go the top route this time. Because I would rather not fall in that hole again and have to wait for like 45 seconds. Alright, good. That was that hole that I fell in. And we got a 1-up, so I guess that death that we had doesn't even count anymore. That's another thing that's kind of, like, bad, is that Super Sonic is really hard to control. Like, he's so fast that he's kind of, like, annoying. Alright. Now over here should be the boss, which should be extremely easy because he can't do anything to us. As you can see, Super Sonic is extremely cheap, and it's well worth it if you can get all the Chaos Emeralds, which is kind of why I didn't want to cheat, but I did want to show off Super Sonic, and I felt that since, you know, I had to use the... Well, I mean, I didn't have to, but I didn't... Basically, since I forgot to save state, it was the perfect opportunity to show off the level select um, cheat code. And anyway, this is Oil Ocean Zone, which is rather annoying. Basically, that oil down there, if you stand in that oil for more than, like, a few seconds, then you're going to drown in it, basically, and you will die. Now, no. I want to get blown upward. That didn't work at all, and I got squished. Well, that's just awesome. Okay, take two. I'd rather not run out of lives before you know, doing anything, but I'm failing hardcore at this so much right now. No. We're going to wait for the thing, and then we're going to jump. We're not going to be dumb. Now, this level has what I would probably consider one of the most annoying enemies in any Sonic game ever. They're basically seahorses that can fly through anything at all. They can fly through the floor, they can fly through walls, and, if that wasn't bad enough, they shoot things at you as well. They're just overall really annoying to deal with. Speak of the devil, there's one right now. Although, the next level does have extremely annoying enemies as well, so I mean, I guess... Since... I mean, there's only two enemies in this level, the stupid seahorse and those octopi that you saw before. But, aside from that... There's nothing else here. And as you can see, with Super Sonic, you can just, like, freaking break this level. Say, screw you to the freaking, like, oil slides and just jump up them. And I just jumped right over that. Basically, Super Sonic is extremely crazy. And he's, like, extremely fun to play as, but it's kind of crazy as well. I mean, you got that to deal with. And as you can see, the little gimmick in this level is that you have the little, um, shooters that are trying to, like, move you everywhere. Now, if I can please go back here. Alright, there's a checkpoint. We got that. Alright. Now, a little thing I need to mention about Super Sonic is that he isn't, like, completely invincible. He can still be killed by certain things, those things being, like, falling off the map or getting squished by something. So he's not 100% invincible, but he is invincible to, like, the robots, because if you just, like, run into them, they die. So, basically... In all, Super Sonic is extremely crazy, but it's totally worth it to try and actually get him, because he's really fun to play as. Now, there is a glitch that I know of in this level, so I'm going to see if I can pull it off. But it's really, like, hard to do. You basically have to, like, do exactly what I just did. Now, when you do that, your jumps, like, become extremely weird. Like... You just start, like, jumping really weird, and you, like, run really freaking fast. It's kind of like being supersonic, but not really. If that's, like, 
as you can see, it's kind of awkward to do. I think it actually, like, the effect stays when you become supersonic. So, like, if you become supersonic when you're jumping around like this, then you, like, start going all kinds of crazy. It's really weird. I don't know what it, like, what's the deal with it. But anyway, it's like, if you, if you touch, like, a spring, then it, um, knocks you out of that, so... Yeah, that's kind of sad, but whatever. Anyway, I think we're about halfway through the stage already. As you can see, once you get the, um... Once you get supersonic, this game's extremely easy. And short. And just overall, not hard at all. But, what do you expect from, like... Invincibility, and super speed, and, like, super jump, and super everything? Alright. No... crap. Now, it is actually possible to, um... kind of, like, jump your way around the bottom of the stage in order to, like, skip everything, but it's really hard and it's extremely risky. And almost every single time you do it, you're probably just gonna die, so it's not even worth trying. So, yeah. I would not suggest doing that. It's not the best idea, at least in my opinion. But anyway, we're almost about done with this level already, which is kind of interesting, because, I mean, I didn't think we'd be done with this level so fast, but apparently we are. So anyway, get that. Get that checkpoint. And we're at the boss. So as you can see, he pops up, and then he starts throwing things at you. He throws a harpoon, and then he, like, shoots a laser. And if he shoots the ground, then you have to make, like, make sure that he doesn't hit you on that. So anyway, that was extremely easy, thanks to Supersonic. So we're already done with two levels in this one recording session, which is pretty freaking good. If I do so, if I do say so myself. So we have four acts left in the game, one of which is a major act. This is the last major act in the game. Now, when I say major act, I mean, or zone rather, not act. When I say major zone, I mean, like, zones that actually have more than one act. Because as you can, like, if you paid attention to the, um level select screen, you'll see that some of the levels don't have, like, they only have one act. Sort of like how Final Zone was in Sonic 1. Except in this game, there's, like, three of those zones. So, yeah. Now, this zone is rather interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's good, because it's really annoying. But it's interesting when it comes to the way that it works. Because, if, like I said, if you were paying attention to the level select screen, you'll see that this level is a bit, like, odd in the way that it works. But... I'm not even going to comment on what that just was, but that was really dumb, what I just did. But it works really weird, and it's kind of, like... I'm gonna kind of say it's kind of, like, um, they were kind of jerks when they did what they did, because basically it's really, it's inconsistent with the rest of the game, and it's, like, I don't know, it's just really mean. You'll see what I mean when we get to Act 2. Now, the main gimmick of this level is these little, like, screw things. That basically, depending on the way that you run when you're on them, they go up or down. But aside from that, and the enemies in this level, which as you can see are the little starfish, the crabs, and the praying mantis things. Alright. And then there's also these little, like, platforms that move out. But aside from that, there's not much else in this level. 
aside from like various death traps of many different kinds. So you do have to watch out for that, and then these things as well. But they're rather easy to avoid. Alright, get that. Go down here. And then there's these little transport tubes, similar to like the uh, Scrap Brain Zone and Sonic 1. Except not really. Alright. I'm kind of like scared.